All right, okay. Mac, it's your turn. I get an interview? Yeah. <gasps> really? <What? laughs> cool. It switches it up. All right, there we go. Basically. That was the plot twist. What? That was the right. plot twist. How are you You're... feeling now? <laughs> really? I like. I was I was happy to film, but now I'm even happier to be on camera. <laughs> You're so wholesome, dude. What kind of content do you make? Yeah, mostly just skits and comedic stuff. I like to do the documentary style. It's used a lot, but I, I like to use that style. Yeah, mostly just skits. How long would you say that you've been on TikTok? Probably about a year and a few months. I started, I think, March of 2018, and then I've just been doing it since. So like, yeah, a year and a few months long. Oh, okay. I sold my soul. You sold soul. It's Basically. great though. I actually got on TikTok not that long ago. Yeah. But like, I don't know the platform as well as you do because you've seen it like evolve and change and everything. Yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. When I started TikTok, it was actually Musical.ly. Mm -hmm. So I started on Musical.ly in March and then around like this time last year, it changed to TikTok. So TikTok's been alive for only about a year now. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that because like it just hit like the one year anniversary of TikTok not that long ago. So mm -hmm. how do you feel about that? Well, I mean, it's it, it's it's really cool. When I first got on Musical.ly, everybody's content was very eh. But now that it's changed to TikTok, everybody makes creative content and it's like a new vibe. Everybody makes skits, everybody makes memes. The name change and all the memes of TikTok saved the app. So I'm really happy that it's been alive for a year now. Because that's kind of crazy, but how much time does it really have left? You know? Right, yeah. Probably another year and a half, I think. Maybe two years. And then I think people will be just about done. Why does TikTok get so much negativity in the commentary community? It's the same bad rap as, as Musical.ly. Because there is the, the lip syncing aspect to it. Jacob Sertorius was the face of Musical.ly. Nobody likes Jacob Sertorius. Sure. Nobody likes his music. <laughs> People call him cringy. Everybody associated Musical.ly with Jacob Sertorius. And the only thing that really changed about Musical.ly when TikTok became TikTok was the name and the logo. So it's the, it's the exact same app, mm -hmm. just content has changed drastically, but not everybody has really looked into it that much. But at the same time, with PewDiePie, I think he's made like 15 TikTok videos. It's starting to get better. It's always fun to poke fun at apps. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know if I answered the question. TikTok was an uh, app that was started in Japan, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was like a Japanese app. And then they just, just took the name and put it on Musical.ly because there's so many different apps that have taken the lip syncing Formula. Do you think it's fair that TikTok is getting the backlash of being cringy? Yes and no. There's some people that are genuinely making really creative content, but at the same time, there used to be a lot of pedophiles on the app. All the biggest creators that are TikTok friendly, that are verified, are kind of cringy. Sebastian Bales, Lauren Godwin, Chase Maverick Baker. Those are the people that TikTok chooses to like represent their brand. They're cringy because there's no real point to their videos. There's no edge, there's no real creativity. And if you look at that as the face of TikTok, I can understand why you would uh, think that it's cringy. And they'll get like 2 million likes. 2 million likes. It's weird. I think the whole pedophile thing didn't help <laughs> its case either. Was that TikTok or Musical.ly? Because I thought that was... We know that was TikTok, wasn't it? Definitely Musical.ly, but there was, this, there was this one guy on TikTok. I don't know who he was. His, he kind of looks like an egg and he had some glasses. Yeah. <laughs> there were a bunch of screenshots came out of him texting a girl trying to get her to send a picture of her in her underwear or something like that. That was really bad. And mm -hmm. I think he's still on TikTok. And I think his account's just private, I'm pretty sure. Do you think that situation in and of itself has affected the platform? No, like they've taken a lot of hits and that wasn't even, I don't think that was talked about in like the mainstream media. Why is there such an appeal for TikTok in general? Everybody has a following, literally anybody. The For You page makes it to where anybody can grow. So the algorithm really, 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 really favors smaller people. So, you know, it feels like everybody on TikTok has about 10,000 followers, 5,000 followers, 1,000 followers. I think people like want Vine to come back really badly. People did for a few years, and I think this is kind of filling the hole. There's a lot of edge to TikTok. People like edgy memes. You know, people love making fun of people on the internet. The duet memes make it 
so much easier to do that. Why is your focus on TikTok instead of a platform like YouTube? It just, it takes a lot more work. I actually like script videos on YouTube. It takes a few hours of editing. And then at the same time, you put it up. And as you're uploading your video, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of other videos are already being put up. So there's way more competition when it comes to YouTubers. And that's why there's so many more small YouTubers than there are small TikTokers because like I mentioned, anybody can grow on TikTok, literally anybody. But then for, for YouTube, it's just five times as much work. On YouTube, I'll put out recently one YouTube video a week, but I try and put out one, if not two, TikToks a day. Less competition on TikTok, easier to edit and get out like micro content, and it's easier to grow in there and it feels like there's less competition. Are there any original creators on TikTok that you recommend? Rendot can make any sort of mundane thing entertaining with her style. She does really good travel TikToks. Punk IRL, he does a lot of spam posting, but they're all really funny. Chris Melberger, he does really good TikToks. Pepperoni Joe, my street does good Minecraft TikToks. <laughs> Ava Noel Mosley is great. Varlicious, it's hard to get a gauge on her. And she gets made fun of a lot, but she you can tell that she really tries. And it's fun watching her content because you never really know what you're gonna get. Adam Tyler is really funny. I watch him a lot. They're they're all really good. And Emorias. Emorias <laughs> makes good stuff too. Emorias is the one who just yawns. <laughs> yes. He makes good stuff. <laughs> Not even how that turned out. Special thanks to my four patrons who support me on Patreon. If you'd also like to help support the channel, go to patreon.com slash or click the link in the description.